Coming up, trying to get in to the stadium as we hear from uh, the Tonga coach, Totai Kifu. Uh, yeah, definitely. I mean, it, it was a disappointing loss. I thought um, we, we, we played well enough to win the game, but, um, you know, we made too many errors. So hopefully uh, we've had a good week. Uh, we had a bit of confidence leading into this game. And how you think uh, this uh, game or this tournament has saved uh, Tonga's preparations uh, towards uh, Rugby World Cup? Yeah, really good. We, we, we've found out some more information about players, um, not only during games, but during the training week. Um, so, uh, you know, that's the long play, that's a long goal, but uh, at the moment we're just focused on the PNC. Thank you very much and all the best for today's game. Thank you. The great Totai Kefu played uh, 60 tests for the Australian Wallabies and, of course, the Kalitahi Tonga team in good hands as they build up, of course, uh, to Rugby World Cup uh, come 2019 in Japan. The Manu Samoans, uh, of course, led by the inspirational captain Chris Vui. It's uh, a rebuilding uh, stage for the Manu Samoa team, bringing in a lot of uh, young players. But, of course, their match against the uh, Flying Fijians last week was um, obviously a great indication of um, Samoa's um, intentions moving forward. Unfortunate to lose 24-22 last week. But what a great second half for the uh, Samoan team. And, uh, of course, good to see support here as well for them. And they've made sweeping changes to the lineup that took on Fiji last week. And uh, we'll be talking about that a little later on. But, of course, Irfan Khan also caught up with their coach, uh, Fumaono Titi Maia Tuifua. Uh, Mr. Tafua, uh, first of all, a um, big game uh, coming up uh, for uh, Samoa. You had a good game against the Flying Pigeons last weekend, came strongly in the second half. So hoping to continue that form from where you left off last weekend? Yes, that's what we are trying to, uh, you know. Our game today, we, we want to lace our mistakes from uh, last uh, week's game. And uh, I know for sure that uh, we, we should win, uh, but uh, that's what I'm... We are prepared for, uh, you know, to less our mistakes from last week's game. And how do you think this tournament will serve as a build-up uh, for uh, Samoa towards the World Cup qualifier? It's, it was a very good opportunity for us, you know, that uh, to have a game before we have that uh, qualifying first qualifying game in Apia. And um, I know for sure it was a very good uh, for us for our preparation. Thank you very much, and all the best for today's Thank game. Thank you very much. Yeah. Well, he led Samoa to World Seven Series victory in uh, 2007, and coach for my own Titi Maia Tuifua. And looking at the uh, Tongan lineup, of course, uh, in the forwards, David Lolohe and Sitveni Mafi have uh, forced their way through, and in the back line, Kupa Vuna will make a start, as well as William Lolohe. And uh, David Halai Fanua moves to fullback uh, from the wing position last week. And sweeping changes for the Samoan side, nine changes. And only uh, Chris Vui, Piola Fasalele and Jack Lamb, who moves to number eight um, this week, are the players that uh, featured last week in the back line. Uh, Dwayne Polatavayo will be at halfback. Paul Perez at wing, uh, Alofa Alofa at center. And um, should be an exciting lineup. Get to see support here for the Manu Samoans, um, who, of course, lost to Tonga when they last met uh, last year in Nukualofa. And uh, Tonga beat uh, Samoa on that occasion, 30 points to 26. And it was the Tongans' uh, first win over Samoa since 2011. So it was a great day for them last year. But Samoa, of course, will be hoping to turn things around. And they, of course, will also be keeping their eye on the, the match that will be played between Germany and Portugal later on uh, today. And, of course, the winner of that match will face them in Apia on June the 30th. And then they will play in uh, a home and away matches 
to decide, of course, uh, their fate come Rugby World Cup uh, 2019. As you see the Tongan team already there, led by, of course, Siale Pietau and his teammate. Chris Vui is uh, the captain for Samoa and he was in outstanding form for them last week. Now, of course, we're expecting a great matchup between these two nations. They've always provided wonderful matches over the years. And we're expecting another physical clash as we see Paul Perez as well making his way out and um, joining me in commentary as well is um, Aquila Dama. Aquila, good afternoon and your thoughts on uh, this uh, matchup. Mbula Zinati and of course uh, Mbula Vinakatu, all our viewers, especially um, those uh, watching from uh, Samoa and of course in Tonga and of course those who are joining us through um, uh, the live stream as well. Bolivinakat, welcome to uh, the ANZ Stadium in uh, Suva, and what a moment it, uh, it is as well for the um, young ladies from St. Anne's Primary School in uh, Suva, escorting the um, teams out. And earlier this week, the uh, Flying Fijians had a uh, legacy visit to St. Anne's uh, Primary School. Gentlemen, the emotion and pride, of course, coming through there in the wonderful renditions of the uh, Tongan and uh, Samoa national anthem. And, of course, uh, a lot of Pacific pride at stake here for these two teams. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, they last met in Nukualofa in, in uh, 2017. And uh, Tonga, of course, uh, got their first win over Samoa. 
tw 30 points to 26 on that occasion. That was their first win since uh, 2011. And we're expecting another exciting clash from these two nations as we stand by now for the traditional challenge from both teams. The Sivatao from the Manu Samoans and, of course, Sipitao from the Tongans. have laid down the challenge as well this afternoon and our referee of course uh, from New Zealand Brendan Pickerel and he of course will be assisted by Graham Cooper from Australia and uh, Cam Stone from New Zealand. Beautiful conditions, of course, here in the capital city. And at the moment, just a nice uh, cloud cover as we await the start of round two matches. And Kurt uh, Mora, who plays for the Utah Warriors in the United States of America, gets this uh, match underway. He kicks it deep. Inside and well taken Pakistan. there by Asi Tuala, who was in fine form for the Samoans uh, last weekend. Uh, Tonga launched the first uh, attack there. Well taken there by uh, Joe Tuniao. Tonga securing position at the moment. A good run here for the Tongans, looking for space. Oh, nice offload there from the Tongans. Beautiful work at the moment. They spread it quickly once again. Paula is a halfback. Uh, Takulua, they spread it out, trying to look for gaps. Here yeah, the Tongans. Defense coming across quickly from the Samoans. That was a good defensive effort from the uh, Samoan forwards. Hurry on. Six blows, guilty that time, on the ball. Joe Tuniao not on. releasing uh, the ball, uh, Aquila. Yes, the first turnover for uh, the afternoon to the uh, Samoans. And of course you can see uh, Jack Lamb played at um, uh, seven last week for the uh, Samoans, now at uh, number eight. And uh, it's one of, the, uh, one of the changes as well in this um, Samoan team, one of the uh, nine changes in the Samoan side, a positional change as it is, and you can uh, see the uh, impact of um, Jack Lamb resulting in uh, the first turnover for uh, the uh, Samoans this afternoon. Well, good work at the breakdown from the Samoan forwards to force that turnover. And they've got a line out here. Well taken again from that line out. The Samoans pass back. Yeah, red. You've deliberately the knocked it on. Penalty here. Deliberate knock on by the red player. Deliberate knock on. The Tongans uh, penalised there for deliberate knock on as Tusi Pisi looks for territory. And he clears the ball well to CPC, who will turn 36 on Monday. 
And the experienced fly half from this uh, Samoan team will be key to their attack here. Say Lala Lam plays for the Perpignan club in France. will throw into this line out for Samoa. Bit scrappy there, but they've managed to get it. PC got it. Got through a gap that was actually Sinoti Sinoti. Good work here from the Samoans, about five meters away from the try line. Looking threatening at the moment. Chris Vui has been so hard working for this um, Samoan team. Try to muscle their way forward. Ball comes there for Viliamu Afatia. Well, they've lost it. A turnover for Tonga. They kick it downtown. And they survived that early Samoan onslaught. It was good scrambling from the Tongans in the end. And a nice uh, touch finder there for Takulua. Yes, uh, Sinatra, remember this is uh, for Samoa. This is the uh, testing ground for them and a platform for them to um, build on as uh, they gun for a sport in the uh, Rugby World Cup next year as well in Japan. So um, the uh, coach, Diki Tafua, was happy with their performance uh, last week, especially in the uh, dying uh, stages of the match against uh, Fiji in the last quarter especially. Another turnover from the Samoans and uh, lost it there by Alapati Le Yua. I will be disappointed with that Samoa. Knock on. Here we go. So early mistakes for the Samoa, letting them down. Anapatile, you are one of five players in the Samoan a team that play for Bristol. Okay, stand up, stand up. Okay, got, yeah, yeah, guys, so you both just need to be slightly left of that mark, okay? Yep. Yep. That's good. Obviously, both the teams came back strong last week. And some more were unfortunate to lose to Fiji 24 22. And Tonga also just lost by one point to Georgia. Now, hoping for better start in this game. Takulua decides to run. It's well tackled there, but a great pickup there from uh, Nasi Manu, a former Highlanders player. Paula. Still playing advantage. Good kick there from Morath. Oh, it bunches into space and uh, well taken there by Tonga. That's a Viliami Lolo here, his first test, and he gets a try. <laughs> Asi uh, Tuala, well, he gambled. There for Samoa at fullback, Tuala. He uh, let the ball bounce there just uh, about uh, eight meters out from his own try line. But he didn't know that uh, the uh, rugby ball, he can, it can bounce in and uh, gain your favor as well. But this time in favor of uh, Viliami Lolohea, the uh, young man uh, from Tonga. And uh, Tonga is up on the board as well. And of course, uh, the golden rule for um, uh, fullbacks, don't let the ball bounce. You have to catch it. And uh, he gambled for it there, but uh, unfortunately for Asi Tuala, he learned from that. And um, we expect to see an improved performance from him at fullback this afternoon from um, for Samoa. And just unfortunate there. And uh, looking at the stats as well, Samoa, two knock-ons already in the first um, seven minutes of uh, this match two turnovers made by Samoa so you can see at the breakdown Samoa is working hard at uh, the breakdowns but uh, on the scoreboard okay, it's Tonga who are up now by seven points well what a way to make your test debut Viliame Lola here scoring a try at Takulua's conversion was good so Tonga lead seven points to nil 
What a great start from the Tongans, and that bounce definitely favoured the Tongans. The bounce of the ball. And Lolo here, who plays for the Papa Toy Toy Club in New Zealand, will definitely remember that try for a long time. Make sure to stay behind you out wide, Okay, eh? time on. I see Tuala kicks it long. But again, the tongue and secure the ball quickly. Takulua is there. Just getting his forwards organized. Straight to Manu. Popped on the side, but back on the uh, Tongan end. Takulua. Nice high ball. I see Tuala. Good take from the uh, Manu Samoan fullback. Dwayne Polatavayo straight to PC. Jack Lamb through the legs from Samoans. Creative stuff out there. Perez has the ball. He's been dangerous uh, for Samoa. Leua. Good work here from the Samoans. Yeah, no release. No key release. Penalty is over here. Tongans uh, penalized there for not releasing the ball. As we see it once again, there's a good run from Leua. And that's where. Yes, he made the right decision there, Alipati uh, Leua. He uh, knew that uh, the winger. It was uh, Sinoti, Sinoti didn't have room on uh, the outside, so uh, he decided to take it into contact and of course resulting in a penalty as well for someone, they've opted for the line out. Collapsing the move. Yeah. A late, it was a late sack and you've collapsed the move. Over here, it's over here. So the penalty count certainly ticking over for the Tongans. On that occasion, uh, collapsing the mall. And uh, to see PC steps up, they're looking for the five points. Great attacking opportunity here for the Samoans. They trail seven points to nil. Again, well taken there by Chris Fui, the captain. Jack Lamb has the ball. The referee playing advantage here. They decide to go for the line. Good work from the Samoans. Polotavaya throws to Tusi PC, changes direction. Nice little footwork there from PC. Trying to bust his way through, that was um, TJ Iwane. Jack Lamb. They go towards the right again. Leua, almost an intercept. Okay, that's a knock on. No advantage. It was an a penalty early again against uh, the Tongans. Three red. It was an early drive. Yes, the um, Tongans, you can see, they are playing a very um, disciplined game at the moment. And uh, you can see that they've earned four penalties. Tonga have considered four penalties. So. Um, in these first uh, 10 minutes, it's uh, Samoa who's trying to um, maintain their discipline and, of course, look after the ball at the, the breakdown. And you can see uh, and uh, hear the um, referee clearly as well, shouting out the uh, instructions and uh, warning the um, Tongans as well. So I see Tuala, the Samoan fullback will step up to see if he can um, add three points uh, to their tally. Plays for Northampton, I see Tuala. Uh, they drove on your mall early? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I've, just, I've just told them to tidy up the discipline.
Chuck well by RC to Walleye. He raises the flags as well. Some more on the board with three points. That'll definitely be a uh, okay, yep. confidence boost as Chris Latham has a word with him. The former Wallabies fullback that's been helping out the uh, Manu Samoan backline. And what an exciting player he was, Chris Latham. Uh, is he back on? Time off. Okay. Siale Piotal, the uh, Tongan captain, is back on the pitch. Morat sends it high towards Sinoti. Sinoti, good take there from the young man. Palatavaya takes his time and then clears it to uh, Asi Tuwala. He sends it into touch. And it's uh, great to see uh, Tuwala okay, now having a field game at fullback. And uh, on the other hand, for the uh, Tongans, it's uh, Kurt Morath. Good to see him back in the Tongan colors after the uh, 2015 World Cup. He's been out of action in the uh, Tongan colors for about uh, three years now. Advantage here, advantage. It was a nice, small, clever kick from. Um, Kurt Mora. So we got a knock on. So their player charged it down, and then your player knocked it on. Yeah. Knock on. But just didn't work according to plan. <laughs> you can see the class of Mora here. But just, yes, of course, it was a charge down by uh, the uh, Tongan player. And it was. Uh, rather, it was charged down by the Samoan player. I think it was. Uh, See, I'll, no, it was uh, Alapati. Alapati, oh, I no issue with your man on the ball there. But it was one so of the Tongan front rowers who lost it forward. Okay, um, just, I just want to make sure I said to you what I said to the, your nine down there. Yeah. There was just a couple of penalties at the mall. Okay. So you just need to discipline around that mall area. Mall. Yeah. Okay. Hey. <laughs> 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 Loud and clear there, <laughs> not there from uh, the uh, referee as well uh, this afternoon, uh, Brandon uh, Pegrell of uh, New Zealand. Yeah, are you right? Yeah. Okay. He's back. He's back onto his feet, uh, Joe Tenau. Coach! Palatavaya will feed into the scrum uh, for Samoa, uh, who are trailing by four points. Okay, we're going to come over here first of all. Um, it looked like you just slipped there. So just make sure you keep those feet up, eh? Yep. <laughs> That's uh, Siwa Hala Nuku Nuka, the uh, former Highlanders prop. Here we go. Out there for uh, the Tongans. Maybe the uh, slippery surface as well, not helping. And uh, Siwa there. Coach! Fine! Coming! Dwayne uh, Polotovayo leads into the scrum. He came off the bench last week and scored a brilliant try for Samoa in their match against Fiji. Held at the back there by Jack Lamb. He's been hounded by the Tongan forwards. But uh, good work from Lamb. Samoa have the ball. Tusi PC kicks it downtown. Tonga launches uh, attack here. Good work from there. Fullback David Halei Fanua. Good run from the uh, fullback. Sitiveni Mafi lays it nicely there. Morath. Oh, good work here from the Tongans. They've been dangerous every time on attack. They still have it. Referee playing advantage for a high tackle there. Hello, Nook. 
Ko Nuko. It was a good run from the uh, prop forward. Pola. Tonga looking threatening here. Another short ball over the top from the uh, Tonga and halfback. Takulua. There's certainly been a lot of variations on their attack. Pass on the inside. It looks good from the Tongans. Very close to the line now. Samoa desperately defending their line. They regroup. Tunayao carries it forward here for Tonga. Very close to the line. Sigrid Fisihoi trying to get himself over the line with a little bit of help from the uh, Tongan forwards. Yep, knock on. Another quick tap here from the Tongans and he puts it over. This is great from Cooper Buna. <laughs> the uh, commentator turned uh, try scorer here this afternoon, Cooper Buna. He was in the commentary booth last week, but uh, he's got a try this afternoon for the uh, Tongans. The former Knights, uh, Newcastle Knights winger in the NRL and of course a uh, former Auckland Warriors winger. Played for Tonga at the 2008 uh, Rugby League uh, World Cup, Cooper Puna, and uh, had a stint with the uh, Melbourne Rebels as well in uh, Super Rugby, and is in for a try as well uh, this afternoon, Asinati. Oh, well done, Cooper Puna. It was quick thinking from the young man. He took the tap and had enough strength to get over that try line. And Tonga have looked sharp on both occasions. That Troy obviously taking their tally up to 12 points to three with the uh, kick to come from uh, Takulua. But that was impressive work mm. again from the Tonga and uh, That's Akula. right, uh, especially for Kurt Morath and uh, Sonatane Takulua. Takulua knew they had the momentum and they got the penalty and he didn't hesitate. Took the quick tap and gave it to um, uh, Kupa Ofuna. They knew they were moving forward and uh, Samoa was under all sorts of pressure and it's paid off for them as well the second try of the afternoon the conversion is good as well 14 points now for the uh, Tongans uh, every reason to celebrate the uh, Tongan supporters up in the stands as uh, Takulua increases their lead here it's 14 points to three in favor of the Tongans and of course a lot of these matches will be a great build-up towards the uh, Rugby World Cup. Tonga, of course, uh, secured their place uh, last year. And Samo, of course, will be looking in, it, in with a lot of interest in the match uh, later on today when Germany will face Portugal. That's right, and uh, they'll take on the uh, win of that match. So good luck to the uh, Samoans in their quest for um, a World uh, Cup uh, sport. Masimano. Hold blue, wait. And at the back there, Otakulua takes its time and then a nice box kick. It's up high, but Asi Tuala again has been safe under the high ball. A Samoan fullback to CPC gets it along quickly. The TJ Iwane Perez. They were very dangerous last week, Perez and uh, Ed Fido on the wing for Samoa. Fido is on the bench at the moment, but we expect to see him a little later on. Balotavayo again to PC. Nice cutout pass, TJ Iwane. Being hassled there by the Tongans, but they still have the ball, Samoa. Jack Lamb. Polotavayo spots a gap, decides to go through. Luckily, they just got an ankle tap to him. Jack Lamb, a good carry here. Certainly momentum on their side. Chris Vui. Henry back here, offside. Well, penalty against the Tongans again, uh, Aquila. Yes, and of course, so we saw um, what this uh, kid is capable of, uh, Dwayne Polotavayo. I was impressed yeah. with this um, uh, Number four. player when he came off offside. the bench last week against uh, Fiji. Um, uh, and he scored a try as well last week. So uh, the Tongans need to look Chris. out for him. He's um, very crafty and very dangerous around the fringes as well. 
and we saw there oh, what he's capable of with that uh, little darting run through uh, the middle uh, there Dwayne Polatovo and uh, we can also see that Samoa now starting to um, uh, get their rhythm into this match but unfortunately therefore um, the outside the inside Sian Ali Patiliwa the last pass was not uh, good enough but Samoa putting on a few good faces here and um, they trailing by 11 points but the Tongans leading by 14 points to three. Come on! Off! On the team. Do you want someone to hold it this time? Nah. Nah. And Samuel opting for the three points here as I see Tuala lines up. Have you guys got um, 22 minutes and a half? 22.30? Yeah, mate. Yeah. Pretty close to that. Yeah. I've got 22.15. Cool. That was an incredible fight back from the Samoans last week when they were trailing 24 points to three. As Asi Tuala strikes it well and raises the flag. Samoa 6, Tonga 14. Your number four in the back line? Well, yep. first for Samoa, they need to cut down on the um, uh, penalties uh, as well, rather for um, for uh, Tonga. They need to uh, cut down on the penalties as well. Though they are leading by 14 points to six, but we saw what um, uh, the uh, Samoans can do in the uh, last quarter. Mara, straight to Tuang oh, again. Right. Yeah, on. Who returns it back straight to David Halefunua? Takes his time and then kicks a long high one. Well taken here by Samoa. Kolotavayo quickly to PC. That's a little grubber along. It's a bit of a tricky one, but bounces well here for Tonga. And we turn the kick downfield and uh, Asi Tuala was there, a nice inside pass. It's good work here from the uh, Samoans, that was Sinoti Sinoti. Seilala Lam, Paula Tavayo, PC once again, a little kick, Jess, rolls out into touch. <laughs> the general. Inside. Working his yeah. uh, magic as well there to CPC. Put He's been around yeah. for okay, quite some time for uh, Samoa. Yeah. One of the uh, great okay. ambassadors of Samoan rugby to CPC. You guys are on the line. And um, of course, good vision there. He saw the space at the back and um, out of position there for the uh, Tongan. Uh, the Tongans the was um, uh, David Alai for Nua, the fullback. So, um, uh, great decision. And a uh, great play there as well from uh, Tusi PC, the Samoan fly half. Play on! It's crappy in the uh, lineup, but um, Hold inside. Tonga. Hold here, use it! No, bro, Secured wait. it. They decide to run it on the short side. Tackle inside. Scoop of Use it! Shoulders. 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 Takalu again. Yes. The kick not gaining too much ground. Okay. Get rid. Yeah. Yeah, you count it. They keep coming in with two half. I'll watch it. Yeah, I'll watch. He's in. Well, it's been wonderful conditions here in uh, Suva for round two of the 2018 Pacific Nations Cup. Thankfully, the rain has stayed away. Vasilele, good work for in the lineup. As the forwards try to rumble forward. Yep, entry six. Hang on. Wait. Siali. Tonga have conceded um, six penalties yeah, now in this match. Yeah, that's a third penalty at the more for six coming entry. Okay, okay so you're on a warning there. Can yeah, yeah. <laughs> so third penalty according to um, uh, referee uh, Brandon. That's the third penalty 
around the uh, mall, but six in total Entry against um, Tonga. So now the great platform here for the Manusa Moans. A trail by eight points. They go long to the back and too far. Straight into the hands of Takulua. He throws a wild one and comes back on the uh, Samoan uh, end. And Simoti Sinoti. Bolo Tavayo. Straight to CPC. TJ Iowane. And then they spread it once again. Leua Asi Tuwala, little grubber along and goes out into touch. Well, you've seen uh, Asi Tuwala after that um, uh, first blemish inside the uh, first seven minutes of this match, which resulted in uh, Tonga's first try. You can see that uh, he's starting to um, uh, be confident now, and you can see how he's controlling the uh, game from the back for Samoa. Again, another long throw nice. from the Tongans. Fortunately oh, for them, right. they got it. Right. And Takulua. Good work from City Veni Mafi. Hold! Use it! Takulua. Hold, Blue! Use He's it, taking Red. his time. Wait! And then he clears it down. What's that there? This we challenged well in the line out for some more. I see Tuala gathers that um, okay, blue kick right. and Forwards. then he okay, kicks it back towards uh, Kupa Vuna who has to get back. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Dead, dead. And a bit too far okay, from uh, Asi Tuala. You want the scum? Yep. <laughs> On you, Cam. <laughs> yeah, I think. Yes, yeah, I think a bit further. No. Was it? Back here. Back here. Yeah. Yes, Tuala just um, uh, put a lot more into uh, that one, uh, Azinate. And now it's given uh, Tonga yeah. another um, a good opportunity to try and build uh, something from here. Because it's been quite some time now since they were in uh, Tonga's um, inside uh, Samoa's half, uh, rather. But um, you can see that the uh, Tongan backline now splitting into two. But, um, they are more off towards the uh, left now. Only David Halaifunua is on to the right, but uh, Kurt Morath, he's a magician. He can do anything here for the uh, Tongans. Good shove here from the Tongans. Very good scrum from them. They're pushing the Samoans back. Absolutely dominating this scrum. And finally, Takulua gets it. Decides to go on a little run, but he's been closed down by the uh, Samoan forwards. Yeah, we're coming up here, offside in the backs. Yeah, right on you. On me, on me. Yeah, see Ali, you want this penalty and not that penalty over there? We'll this, this one, yeah. Okay, offside in the backs. You need to go back 10, please. Third penalty against the Samoa for the uh, afternoon. You can see Siala Pietau pointing towards uh, the uh, sticks there as well. And one thing I've uh, been impressed with this uh, Samoan uh, team as well is their, the Tongan team, uh, rather Sinati, is their front row. They had all sorts of um, uh, problems last week against uh, Georgia in uh, that department in uh, the scrum. But uh, a major improvement today with a new look front row of um, uh, Siegfried, um, Siegfried uh, Fisioi, Paula Naumo and uh, Siwa Hale, Hala Nukunuka. What a scrum, definitely Aquila, that was from the Tongans. They certainly muscle the uh, Samoans. And so penalty opportunity here for them. 
Takulua will see if he can extend their lead. Well, it's Samoa who has a uh, new look front row, but for Tonga, it's Siwa Halanuku Noka who is uh, coming for them. And uh, we can see the um, wealth of uh, experience that is brought into this uh, Tongan team after um, uh, three seasons with the Highlanders in Super Rugby. And Takalua maintains his 100% kicking record this afternoon. That's the, uh, another great penalty for him. And he takes Tonga ahead 17 points to 6. Definitely a lot of work for the Samoans to get back in this match. But uh, Quila, I guess as we saw them last week, they came back strong with the help of their bench. That's right. Both teams, uh, they had um, um, uh, a star-studded bench as well uh, last week and, of course, uh, this week again. And I'm expecting the, the, that uh, the, the difference will be made in the last quarter of uh, this match. And uh, it um, uh, mostly depends on uh, the uh, players who's going to make uh, an impact off uh, the bench. Use it! And we expect a lot of fireworks in the uh, last quarter of uh, this match. Well, the bounce is good here for Tom. Unfortunately, they just lost that one forward. Yeah, penalty here. Took him out in the air. Thanks, Ken. Yeah. In the air. Just a penalty. Well, the call came from the uh, assistant uh, referee. Yeah, look, I mean, a couple of Graham these, uh, Cooper uh, different of areas. Australia. Okay. So they are on a warning at the moment. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. In the air. No penalty against Tonga there for a challenge in the air on Asi Tuala. And so Samoa with about um, less than seven minutes to go in this first half. We'll see if they can um, really challenge this uh, Tongan defense. Lala Lam throws it long. Good take there from the Samoans. TJ Yawane at the back. Rather, that was Chris Fui. Olatavayo. TJ Yawane. No, uh, eight. No, Very him. close to the uh, Tonga try line. You could see oh, them, uh, the line just behind. There's Viliamu Afatia. And again, unfortunate for the um, Samoans not releasing that ball. Well, who was that for uh, Tonga? But uh, one of the players that I saw who featured prominently there for Tonga was the lock forward, Joe uh, Tuneau the um, uh, Fiji-born uh, player. Look at him there in the number five jersey. He made uh, three, uh, rather two tackles prior to uh, that one. And uh, of course the forwards working hard. They are well done by Joe Tuneau. Born in uh, Fiji and uh, raised uh, in Newtown out of uh, Nesinu. What is it about Newtown, eh, Aquila? <laughs> producing a lot of great players. <laughs> yes, uh, well done to them as well, the Newtown Rugby Club. Uh, again, uh, sending uh, three players for contracts in Australia just uh, two weeks ago. Tongans have the ball. Kupa Vuna took it in. Yeah, he's lost. Takalua clears it to Mora. Sends a high one and Asi Tuala so safe under that high ball. Obstruction, blue. Ahead of the ball, obstructing the man coming through. Well and unfortunate for Who Tuala, the they have been uh, penalized there. Good call, Cam. Yes, yeah. again, the. Um, uh, yeah. Call came uh, from uh, the assistant referee the Cam line. Stone from uh, New Zealand. Okay, 
just hold the ball there, Cam. So the nine minutes of this uh, first half, it's um, Tonga that are in the lead, 17 points to six. It's Kurt Morath who plays in the States for the Utah Warriors. What's the uh, issue here, guys? Winded. Okay, so he will stay on? Yeah, okay. And just one of the uh, Tongan players being attended to on the pitch there. Okay. Oh, it's Nasi, right. Nasi Manu. Officer uh, Trevorinus, yeah, also on the Samoan bench. Okay. And former Manu Samoan captain. Probably get to see him a little later in the second half. Oh, Nasi Manu is uh, okay. Back uh, on uh, his feet, and uh, we should expect a, a big play from him in this um, uh, set piece from the uh, Tongans because he's still out there at the back. So maybe he's going to be used as a uh, battering ram in uh, this set piece. On your front, man. See, they're all over here. All over here. Okay, time is on. Let's oh, 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 from Tunayao in that um, line out and was taken by Joe Tekori for Samoa to CPC. Clears it down towards Viliami Lolo here, who's making his debut in this match and also scored the first try. I what a wonderful start for the young man. As Sigrid Fisihoi holds up the ball for Pola. Takulu is there. Kupa Vuna. He's looked strong for Tonga. Also scored a try. Asimanu. Barges his way forward and good pick up there again from Pola. Good momentum here for the Tongans. Takulua to Morath. Oh, nice a straight line here from Joe Tineo. Oh, He's got support on the inside, but Asi Tuala, well, he read that well. And a great uh, intercept from Asi Tuala, stopping what would have been a Tonga try. Yeah. <laughs> Joe Tuneo, that was too good. That was too good from Joe Tuneo. I thought he was going to take on them, but Asi Tuala. Look at this, uh, Asinati. Yeah, I think I might have made a mistake there and called it over early. I did say a bunch over. <laughs> Just unfortunate there from, uh, for the um, uh, Tongans. But we saw the big frame of uh, um, Joe Tuneau in uh, full flight there. But Asi Tuala, he was calm and uh, made the right decision as well. He knew he was outnumbered. There were three Tongans on uh, the outside but uh, he made the right call and um, the intercept paid off uh, as well it could have gone either way <laughs> absolutely as uh, Lei Lua sets it up there for Samoa Out. Sinoti Sinoti TJ Iowane takes it in for Samoa Balotavayo Chris Vui PC nice cut out pass to Perez Unfortunately, that ball just went a bit forward. Yes, again, uh, the master, Tusi PC doing uh, what he does best. Oh, look at them, delayed the pass. That was uh, the right move, but unfortunately, it just went uh, inches forward for the uh, Samoans. And uh, again, Tusi PC working hard in uh, dictating and directing ge general play for the uh, Samoans. Nearly paid off for them there. This will be last, Chris, this is last one for half time. Last play before we uh, go for half time as well, according to the uh, referee as not there. It's half time after this one. Well, the Tongans yeah. will definitely be pleased with their first half performance. Oh, you don't come to really taking the points Sit. that have been on offer there, executed well, and got um, two tries. And some ones, of course, will be disappointed with the um, 
a lot of mistakes as Halei Fanua. Great tussle there at the breakdown. Yeah, yeah, there was a knock on. Knock on again from the Samoans. Yeah, They'll be disappointed with that. Time. But um, it's half time here. And it's uh, Tonga that are currently leading Samoa 17 points to 6. Well, Molovinaka, and uh, welcome back uh, to the ANZ uh, Stadium, of course, for the Pacific Nations Cup uh, Round 2. And, uh, of course, uh, Tonga currently leading uh, Samoa 17 points to 6 after what was a great performance uh, from the Tongans and uh, to lead 17 points uh, to 6. 
they had uh, plenty of opportunities of course in the first half and uh, they took their chances and were able to convert it into points and um, it was a great performance from them and of course um, they scored uh, two tries both converted and also a penalty from uh, Takulua um, which gave them that 17 points in that first half uh, some of course unfortunate they've uh, threatened many times throughout the game but unfortunately haven't been able to uh, convert it into points that was a great clever kick from Morath and straight onto it was Viliame Lolo here making his debut and scoring that first try for Tonga and what a way to start your test match uh, as well as uh, for Tonga scoring that try and uh, Viliami Lolo here got um, Tonga on the board uh, quickly it was then a Kupa Vuna a quick tap and had great strength um, to get over that try line for the Tongans uh, second try both of tries of course were converted by their halfback Takulua and they've had plenty of opportunities in the uh, first half of course they've looked really threatening the Tongans and uh, Morath of course uh, playing a key role Joe Tuneyao this was a great um, run from him but uh, fortunately for Samoa Asi Tuala uh, read that well uh, to deny uh, Tonga that try but um, two conversions uh, two penalties rather to Asi Tuala gave them the six points and so at halftime it's uh, Tonga that are leading uh, Samoa 17 points uh, to 6. Obviously a lot will be talked about in both camps before they uh, head out for the second half. So half time it's Tonga that's leading Samoa 17 points to 6.
Hey, Bolovinak, good afternoon, and welcome back to the ANZ uh, Stadium for round two of the World Rugby Pacific Nations Cup 2018. It's uh, Tonga that are currently leading uh, Samoa 17 points to six after two tries, two conversions, and a penalty that gave them their 17 points. And, of course, for Samoa, two penalties has uh, seen them with uh, six uh, points and uh, joining me in commentary as well this afternoon is um, Aquila Dama. Aquila, of course, uh, some more trailing in this uh, match by about 11 points. What do you think will be important for them to get back into this um, second half? I guess for the uh, Samoans, this uh, the second spell, they, they need to um, uh, finish off what uh, they have started because um, uh, in the first uh, 40 minutes, uh, there was um, some inconsistency in how they um, carried on their play in the first uh, 40 minutes because uh, they started off well at times but it's uh, the finishing touches that's uh, letting them down uh, this afternoon and uh, for one of the um, informed players for me in the first uh, spell was the hooker Selala Lam strong carries and of course uh, made a few good tackles as well his um, work rate in the uh, first half was um, very, very good. And uh, Chris Vui as well for uh, the uh, Samoans, uh, leading by example. But for uh, Tonga, I feel the um, uh, midfield backs of uh, Siale Pietau and Nafi Tuitavake, they need to do a lot of work as well in this um, uh, second spell. Because Nafi Tuitavake, we know, yeah. is a That's very it. talented yeah. player. And when you have wingers such as um, William Ilova yeah, here right, guys, and um, here. Uh, Cooper Vuna Great on the outside, you need to um, uh, deliver quality balls to those two um, uh, world-class winners. So line out here for Samoa. It's gone back on the uh, Tongan end. Joe Tuneo took it in for the uh, Tongans. They've obviously grown in confidence, leading uh, 17 points to six. As Takulua again kicks it downtown. Well waited there by the uh, Samoans. Ale Fanua letting it bounce and it went. Um, yeah, touch this different play. Okay, yeah. Yeah. There's RC Tuwala. His uh, two uh, penalties were in point for Samoa. So there's six points. And he definitely saved what would have been a tongue and try late into the uh, first half. What a great intercept from Asi Tuwala to deny Tonga what would have been a certain try. Two now, good carry forward. Tonga again looking threatening. They decide to go on the short side. It's a big prop, Siwa Halanuko Nuka. Masimano waiting for it. Lays it back nicely. The captain, Siale Pietau. Takalua again. Masimano featuring prominently in play so far from the Tongans. Plenty of runners here. Joe Tunayal tries to straighten things through for the Tongans. Along the deck, it was a bit messy, but um, good work from Morath. They changed direction. Halai Fanua. Good tackle from uh, the Samoan. 
Hooker say La La Land. But um, Tonga still have it a little grubber right, again right. there from Morath. It's been clever. But um, well fine. read by the Samoans. No. No, no, no. Okay. Is the ball out? Uh, they have the ball here right. Samoa. Yeah, now we were offside at the ruck here. Penalised again, the Tongans. Hey! Quickly taken here by the Samoan. There's two CPC. Good run here. This is Perez. He's always very dangerous and very quick, but he was well taken around the ankle by uh, Joe Tuneau from Come Tonga. On, Bit of a scramble here at the breakdown, and good work from the Tongans with the turnover. Yes, I think the message from uh, Dicky Tafua as well at halftime to the uh, Samoans was try to use uh, the width of uh, the puck. Try to um, uh, use the back line as well. That's why we saw the uh, quick uh, tap from that penalty. But a good turnover as well from uh, Tonga. And uh, they defended their line well. Uh, again, Joe Tuneau and the um, uh, blind side uh, flanker, Steve uh, Muffy, combining well for uh, Tonga. And Steve Muffy, of course, um, uh, Creating the uh, turnover as well for uh, Tonga on that occasion. Yeah. Eleven. 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 I need you to come here. I, I'm not trying to get the ball. I understand. Okay, just listen to me. Okay. Look, you, you have won the penalty. I understand you're trying to get the ball. He dropped it. There's no need for you to try and escalate that situation. Or else I have to reverse the penalty and give it to Samoa. So, wait, I need, I need you to calm down. And if we have anything more like that, I'll have to put him in the bin. Okay? Cheers, Brendan. Hey! <laughs> oh, Kupa Buna was not happy there. Off your feet, he blue. saw something there, and of course we see, we heard the referee there, just uh, explaining the situation to him, telling him to uh, just come down. And um, Kupa Buna just tried to be diplomatic there. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. I'm good, ref. <laughs> Well, you see, there's always a lot of passion and pride when the Tonga and Samoa meet. Paula throws it long into the line out. Joe Tuneo was good again there for Tonga. And breaking away there was Fotu Lokotui. Picked up by Pola, making great inroads for the Tongans. Someone defense as well, holding up. Siua. They change direction. Tokolua to his captain, Siale Pietau. Tokolua once again. Lotu Fotu Lokotui took the ball in for the Tongans. Paula, he's been uh, working hard for the Tongans. The uh, hooker. Blue offside. Advantage, blue offside, number. Fotu Lokotui oh, once again. Number two, right in front of you. Okay. They decide to go towards Playing the right. Mora, the straight running uh, hit from oh, uh, David Halloy for Noah. Good momentum here from the Tongans. The, uh, the uh, Samoans trying to rip the ball away. But they have it once again. The Fotu Lokotui bumps one off. That's uh, Chris Vui. Yeah, he's fine. No, he's fine. Offside. In line with me, BP. Penalty Just against there. the Samoans. They're trying to fight hard for position uh, there fine. in the he breakdown. He, uh, so he, he was on his feet supporting his weight. So it's offside here. Hey, number two was offside. Kupavuna was calling for it on uh, the outside, signaling to um, uh, Kurt Mora for a uh, kick pass. But uh, it didn't event eventuate for the uh, Tongans. But Thanks. they have uh, won a penalty, a total of 14 penalties for the afternoon. Seven apiece from uh, both teams. Because I thought uh, Samoa was the mo more disciplined team in the first half. But uh, they are equal now on the uh, penalty count with um, uh, seven penalties uh, considered and um, uh, some more 
four knock-ons in uh, this match with uh, three to Tonga. And uh, the um, penalty counts again. The two coaches will not be uh, happy with the uh, penalty count. Tiki Taufua and um, Totai uh, Kefu. Well, he's had a 100% uh, record so far this afternoon. Sonatane Takulua, two conversions and a penalty. Let's see if he can maintain his 100% record. Takulua raises the flags and the Tonga go 20 points to six and it's been a fantastic performance from this young man who plays for the Newcastle Falcons Takulua and the Tongans just stretching their lead here Aquila yes uh, Sonatane Takulua the um, uh, Newcastle uh, Falcons halfback plays with uh, Veroniki Ngoneva out there in uh, Newcastle and um, on the money this afternoon, 20 points to six now, they lead uh, the Tongans, and um, uh, now they have that uh, psychological advantage with that 14 points uh, buffer, but for uh, Samoa, what they need to do now is score a try. They need to be the next team to score in uh, this match to get uh, that um, uh, confidence back in their campaign in as far as this match is concerned. So it was a bit uh, messy there from the Samoans and Leva Fifita got it back for the Tongans. But remember the Samoans came back 24-3 down against Fiji last week. So uh, we know what they're capable of is Morath. Puts a high one, gives time for his chases but um, well taken there again by Chris Vui. The uh, Samoan captain so hard working. Just unfortunate again, they he lost it. Yes, that's the uh, fourth knock on by um, Is he in the fourth? No. some more. Just play on BP, he's the back. Yeah. Guys, we're going to have to play on. Let's go, Red. Up to you. We also saw um, Sonetane Takulua, of course he's a very, very solid and tough customer, he's a uh, stocky player <laughs> and very strong as well in uh, defense, Sonetane Takulua, a great find uh, for uh, Tonga for the past term, uh, few years, uh, Sonetane Takulua, that's why he's uh, part of um, the uh, Newcastle, uh, Newcastle uh, Falcons a team for the 2018 and 2019 oh, no. season with okay, uh, very Okay. Like uh, Penny Kololatu huh? is on the park now for um, uh, Tonga. Oh, uh, oh, he's replacing the fullback, David Halai for Nua, because uh, Kupa Buna will now go on to play outside center. Tongans, our replacement, Penny Kololatu. Yeah, play on. Masimano. Thomas so have the ball. This man has been so hard working for to Lokutu. Good numbers here and an inside pass there. Good work from the targets. The support is good here. Takulua on the inside to his captain. They still have position now. The near Samoans have the turnover. Tonga was looking dangerous once again. And the kick downtown to try and get themselves out of danger, but here they come again, the Tongans. Penny Kololatu, he's been hammered by the uh, Samoan defense. Takulua, scragged down by Perez. 
Off your feet, 23 red. Wow, Fanny call a lot to um, 23 off your feet. Hey, three, being uh, penalised there for not supporting his bo body weight, the uh, replacement player. He featured prominently leading up to um, uh, that last play by the Tongans. But uh, Asinathis, Sonatane Takulua, you saw what this um, uh, halfback is uh, capable of. He's uh, a very smart halfback. He's a running halfback as well. You don't see him kick uh, too much, uh, Sonatane Takulua. And um, he was um, everywhere there for the uh, Tongans. And we saw some big uh, hits as well, some good run-ups as well, solid run-ups by the uh, Tongan forwards. Here's uh, that uh, little run-through by uh, uh, Sonatane Takulua. And uh, good turnover as well by the, um, the blindside flanker, Piula Fa'asalele of uh, Samoa. The Tongans have the ball. Here goes Foku Lokotui once again. Tackle. Good defense from the Samoans, but uh, Tonga still have position. Nasimanu does a bit of a spin, and then Siwa. Nice footwork there. The Tonga still have position. A little grubber along. Perez. Oh, just couldn't handle that. Stop, 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 stop. stop. That's all right. Next play. Next play for you. Just that bounce of the ball was a bit unkind for Perez in the end. Sub, number three red. As I said earlier, it's um, uh, Sonetan Etakulua who's okay. now controlling things uh, for uh, Tonga. And um, uh, Tonga, they, as I mentioned before, they have the uh, psychological advantage. In Samoa, the pressure is on them now with um, uh, over 13 and a half minutes gone in this uh, first half. Paul Perez, a uh, great exponent of uh, the abbreviated code as well for uh, Samoa in the uh, World Series. And uh, now uh, we see uh, some reinforcements coming in for uh, Samoa. It's uh, Melani Matabao, the starting halfback last week, and uh, Brandon Nansen. So, um, Melani Matavao yeah, will yeah, replace yeah, Dwayne okay. Paula Taivao. Are you okay to stay on? Yeah. So both sides are starting to bring on the uh, replacements. It's 20 points to six here, just after 14 minutes into the second half. Okay, it's over here. Right. Blue. Come on. Luke, come back here. Come back. And uh, Tani Takulua, the uh, Tonga halfback, certainly dictating play for this Tonga team. And every time they've had the ball, they've looked very dangerous. And again, another great attacking opportunity here for Tonga. Crouch! Hello. Coached by the great former Wallaby Totai Kefu. Down, reset. Okay, both of you guys have just fallen straight down. So I need that height and knees up off the ground, okay? Okay, uh, this way, but yeah. Crouch! Bind! Sit! It was a great scrum from the uh, Tomlins in the first half, but... Uh, Tight head, down penalized. on your Collapse the scrum. And uh, the Samoans will breathe a sigh of relief. A total of nine penalties now conceded by the, um, uh, the Tongans. And uh, Ben Taimofuna is on uh, the field as well for Tonga. The former Chiefs uh, super rugby player. Part of the uh, Chiefs team that won the... Uh, 
Super Rugby title for two years in a row. Red. Ben Tamofuna. Or else I have to free kick you. Yeah. Chris Vui goes up well there for Samoa. PC. Good work uh, in the midfield there from uh, Samoa to Alapati Leua. But, uh, he didn't release the ball. Seven red, strong position. Blue holding on. Shot. Some are giving away penalties inside the uh, red zone. And then when you have uh, a um, player like uh, Sonetane Takulua, who, ke who is on song this afternoon, in as far as his um, uh, kicking abilities are concerned, well, you can't afford to um, uh, commit those mistakes inside your own half. And now uh, Sonetane Takulua is lining up to uh, have a crack at another three-pointer for the uh, Tongans. They are leading by 20 uh, points to um, six at the moment. And this will uh, give them a good cushion going into the um, last half of uh, this match, or the last quarter, so to speak. Very tidy, mate. Very tidy. Takalua has had uh, two successful conversions <coughs> and uh, two penalties as well. He's been in great form this afternoon. The Ikaletahi halfback. Takulua stabs it hard and raises the flag once again. A wonderful performance from this young man. And he takes Tonga ahead to 23 points to 6 with a 100% record as far as kicking duties are concerned, uh, Aquila. Yes, uh, Sonatane Takulua again nailing another three pointer there for uh, the uh, Tongans. So, um, well, it's a reflection of uh, the uh, nine, uh, uh, rather the eight penalties that uh, Samoa have uh, conceded uh, so far, while Tonga has conceded nine penalties. Takulua just takes his time, under no real pressure. I see Tuwala was there, but he's been hammered and a great pick up here from the Tongans. It's a great work and he'll get over the line. What wonderful work from Benny Kololatu. He certainly made his presence felt since he's come onto the field. Benny Kololatu, he started last week against uh, Georgia. One of uh, the um, uh, informed players as well on tour for the uh, Tongans, Benny Kolo Latu. It was a great hit as well by Latu. He picked it up. Uh, the awareness and uh, the presence of the mind as well there by Benny Kolo Latu. Um, you can't uh, do that when uh, you um, are under pressure and of course when you are tired. But he was there. He reacted well to the situation. Benny Kololatu made the hit, stood up, picked the ball up, and uh, ran for his life to the uh, trial line as well. So, uh, great uh, solo effort here from uh, Benny Kololatu Asinate. Oh, fantastic play from Benny Kololatu in for Tonga's third try. And what a hit on Asi Tuala. There was about three players around the fringes there, but... Um, he beat them all to the try line. And a great individual effort to um, score Tonga's third try. And it was this man again, uh, Asinate Sonatane Takulua, with that um, nice hanging box kick, which um, had uh, enough time as well for um, uh, Penny Kololatu to uh, make uh, his decision. Of course, uh, the main one there was the tackle that he made, which uh, proved to be uh, the difference. Well, his first miss of the afternoon, Takulua. 
But it's uh, Tonga that's uh, leading Samoa 28 points to 6 with 3 tries. Um, just a dominant performance from this Tongan team who were of course runners up in the PNC last year and they're just growing in confidence, throwing the ball around. And there he is, Pericolo Latu. It's the ball back for Tonga. Well, I said uh, that uh, this game will be decided in the uh, last quarter of the match as well. And uh, we saw there the um, uh, impact of uh, the uh, bent as well. So Benny Kololatu, one of uh, the testament to that, as they did last week against uh, Georgia. And um, uh, now one of their replacement players, Benny Kololatu, has gone into um, a score a try. And um, uh, the uh, Tongans now up by uh, 20. Who's the sub off? Oh, is he off? Eight okay. Eight points to uh, six. Still, uh, 18 minutes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we can hear the referee there. Just about 18 eight, more eight, minutes eight. left. Just make sure you wrap your arms. For, uh, I some think you did wrap your arms. To uh, try, sure you do try and, and get back uh, into this match or try and win this match. But um, uh, on another note, Asinate, I think. Diki Tafua is um, uh, trying to uh, have a look at all his players, let them uh, have some game time before he decides on his lineup, which will take on Georgia in Apia next week. And uh, from there, they will take um, uh, their team to uh, face either Germany or Portugal. And of course, the outcome of that game will be later on today. Scrum, we're going forward. Um, so Samo Just a reminder to one red to stay straight, BP. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sure a lot of work to do to try and come back in this game. It's 28 well. points to yeah, six. And just all, all of you just hold, hold that weight and throw the ball. Yeah. Are we unstable now? Yeah. The well, Tongans, of course, will be very pleased with the way that they've executed in this game. Been far more accurate. Lani Matavayo leaves, leaves it and then he gets the ball. Good defense there again from the Tongans, tracking across. Of the city Veni Mafi. Not supporting your body weight. Hands. Over here. Not supporting body weight. Hands. Well, oh, there, that's the uh, open side uh, flanker no, for Tonga Fotu Lokodui, who is penalized there for not supporting his uh, body weight. Just, that's the um, ten. The ball's coming out the back, so that's why I play off. Penalty. Yep. The Tonga is considered this afternoon. Okay, over here. We'll it. The penalty count uh, mounting for uh, Tonga in uh, this match as uh, we still have about um, 16 more minutes left to play. Lamb. Chris Savoy just shutting out the um, the call and was well taken by TJ Iowane at the back. Get a nice rolling mall going here at the South Morns. They make good ground as well. Held there by Viliamu Afatia. Matavao. TJ Iowane. Bumped back by um, Leva Fifita. Matavao found some gap. He's very dangerous, uh, Matavao. Around the fringes. Around the side. Yeah, around the side. Sorry. Around the side, 12 red. Hang on. Penalty again against the, the Tongans here. 12 red. They didn't come uh, through uh, the uh, gates there, the uh, Tongans. So that's the uh, 11th penalty against uh, Tonga this afternoon as TCPC will uh, look towards the uh, touchline. Yeah. 
I thought it was through the middle. So Samoa uh, we have still uh, has a chance in uh, this match. So we still have uh, about 15 more minutes left to play. Now we play. TJ won a bit uh, messy, but then uh, Chris Vui settled things for Samoa at the back. Good attacking opportunity here for the Manu Samoans. Okay, yeah, no. yeah. Okay. Okay. There's too many penalties across the board now, so it's a warning in all areas. Understand? Oh, hands on the ground. Okay, not supporting by the way. Yes. Hands on the ground. And someone will look for a, a five pointer here as um, Tusi PC clears it into touch. It's a good attacking opportunity here for the Samoans, the best perhaps they've had in the second half. Yes, this is uh, their first real chance in this uh, second spell. The uh, Samoans, it has taken them about um, uh, 26 minutes to come this far and uh, to the Tongan red zone. Well, that speaks volume as well of what um, the Tongans have shown in this second spell. It shows uh, that uh, the uh, Tongans were on full attack in this uh, second half as well. As we have another replacement player, it's uh, Sefo Sakala in now for the uh, Tongans. So he's going to slot in at Hooker, which means uh, Paula Nawamo comes off for the um, uh, Ikale Tahi. But for Samoa, it's Seilala Lem now, Asinate. They'll need to uh, secure this line out Samoa there to give themselves a chance. Great work from the captain, Chris Vui. And they drive off him. Matavao just urging them on. They're going right through the Samoans. Referee has to um, try and uh, see if a try was scored. 16. 16. No, held up. 16, you're on the bench. Side entry, 16. Oh, he has just gone in. Sefo Sakala. Not even a minute on the park. 16. And the side. <laughs> Been shown a, uh, a yellow card. No, yeah. 16 in the side. Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go. What do you want? And for some more as well, we have a new hooker. Silala Lam is off, and uh, we have Elia Elia. Reminds me of a good friend of mine as well. So we'll probably expect the Samoans to do another drive here. And taken well there by Pula Fasalele, who's been uh, also great for Samoa this afternoon. And trying to go on the short side, the Tongans trying to push them into touch. Matavao is trying to get the ball free. Tusi PC has it. Tries to go himself, lays the ball back. Uh, and Matavao again. Fasalele, good carry from okay. him. Matavao once again. TJ Iowane, he's taken in a tough tackle there. William and Lolo here. Jack Lamb has the ball. Decides to go himself, Jack Lamb. Ah, just unfortunate the Samoans once again. They lost the ball forward very close to the line. No advantage, lost forward. Just unfortunate there by uh, Jack Lamb and <laughs> Samoa. I liked what I Not saw on. there from uh, Tusi PC. He attacked the line. We haven't Not seen on. that all afternoon from Tusi PC attacking the line, or just unfortunate there from uh, Jack Lamb. But as I was saying, Tusi PC, that's what he needs to do. He needs to attack the line because um, uh, to force these um, uh, Tongan players, especially the um, uh, inside um, uh, uh, backs, of Siale Pietau and um, uh, Kupa Vuna. He needs to attract those two. Um, 
players from uh, Tonga to CPC. So we saw what he did there. He attacked the line and it nearly resulted in a try as well for the um, Samoans uh, this afternoon. And what about the effort from Sitiveni Mafi and uh, Takunua? He stopped uh, Jack Lamb short of the line. And great defense again from Takulua has been in amazing form for the Tongans this afternoon. Also Sitiveni Mafi and Fotu Lokotui. And the Tongan flank is really working hard around the fringes. And a lot more replacements have come onto the pitch now for Samoa. We see uh, Rodney Iowana. There for Samoa. Jack Lamb has also been uh, subbed off. And the experience of uh, Officer Trevorinus has <laughs> um, come in to join the uh, Samoa forward pack. Coach! Bind! Is he on, Sit! So, defensive scrum here for the Tottenham's. And someone's trying to push through. But they've cleared it away, the Tongans. Good carry forward there from them. Takulua is at the back. Takes his time and then kicks it downtown. Perez chasing after it. But um, it goes out into touch. And that was a huge touch finder from Takulua. It's pretty grand game for this um, Ikali Tahi Tonga team. More substitutions here for Tonga. We have uh, David Feao. Uh, nine minutes. Okay. Chris Boy has been solid for them in the lineup for Samoa. Lost forward. Advantage. We work, we work, we work. We work. Again, the mistakes is really letting this some um, Samoan team down. I wasn't really expecting that. Sinoti, Sinoti. Well, he's had a quiet game as well, uh, Sinoti, Sinoti. We haven't seen much of uh, the uh, speedster from uh, Samoa. But uh, he got that right, Sinoti. He was not really expecting that from uh, Tusi PC. I think there was just um, uh, Lots of communication, the lack of communication between uh, Tusi PC, Sinoti, Sinoti, and um, I think it was uh, Paul Perez. What's the matter? Okay. Both hold our weight. Let's go. Again. Just under eight minutes to go in this match. Tonga in a commanding lead, uh, 28 points to six. Coach! Bind! Sit! Takalua. More out and having a bit of trouble there and Samoa. There's a bit of a loose pass. Sinoti, Sinoti. Tries to take on the Tongan defense. Matavao to Tusi PC. Is Brandon Nansen. Matava decides to go on the short side. Sinoti, Sinoti. Good defense from the Tongans there. You see, Chris Voy, a hard working Samoan captain. Matava once again to Tusi PC. Great pick up, Matavao finds a little gap here, he's so dangerous, Matavao, he sees the line, he's got support outside him, but he didn't pass it and lost 
his footing in the process. Oh, what a missed opportunity here for the Samoans. Perez finally gets over in the corner. Was it Ed Fido? Ed Fido got over in that corner. Well, it's been a long time coming for the Samoans, but finally, Matavao injecting some much needed pace, Aquila. <laughs> Just as he did last week against uh, Georgia, but I thought he uh, blew it there, but he stood up and uh, the um, uh, blue jerseys were there in numbers as well. Well done, Paul Perez. He took it in and um, was it... Um, oh, Ed Fido. I yeah, thought it was uh, Paul Perez, but a nice little break from um, Matavao. Should have passed it there. Got uh, two players on the outside. Ali Patele who were unmarked. But Ed Fido with uh, the first try for Samoa. The um, covering tackle from Cooper Vuna as well was not enough as Dusi PC misses the uh, conversion. Samoa 11, the Tongan Sea Eagles 28. So it was much better that time from Samoa with that try. Maybe just too late, but uh, a consolation uh, nonetheless for this um, Manu Samoa team. It's 28 points uh, to 11. And Ed Fido, the former Manu Samoa Sevens uh, player, getting that um, try for Samoa. So just about... Um, five minutes to go in this match is um, Morath kicks it long and here's uh, Paul Perez Matavao to Tusi Pisi here comes uh, Leiwa he's such a strong uh, second 5-8 uh, Matavao Good numbers here for Samoa, but um, defense is well coming through quickly from the Tongans. Oh, it's a turnover. And Penicolo Latu doing well there to get that ball for the Tongans. Loose ball picked up by the um, Samoans. They've got numbers here. That's TJ Iowane, a long pass out wide for um, Ed Fido. He gets the ball away to his captain who loses it, Chris Vui. And that's really been the story for Samoa this afternoon, Aquila. <laughs> it's just unfortunate for the um, uh, Manu Samoan. The Manu Samoa team. Kupavuna again penalized there. He was warned by the uh, referee earlier on in the uh, first Number half. 11. Uh, three. Three more minutes. Chris Vui asking the referee how many more minutes left. There's three more minutes left in this match, according to um, Brandon Pickerill, the referee from New Zealand. Two CPC. And they'll need to uh, finish with a flourish here, the uh, Samoans. They've uh, conceded a uh, total of uh, eight penalties, Samoa. Elia, Elia. Throws it uh, to his captain, Chris Vui. Matava on the inside pass to uh, Elia, Elia. Down on the pitch, it was difficult, but good work from Matavao. He got that ball, lays it behind there. Good work from the Samoans, good continuity. Officer Trevorinas was also in that uh, mix. Matavao with the ball. Quickly out. They've got numbers here, Samoa. They can shift the ball quickly. TJ Iowane was coming back on the inside. Penalty against the Tonga. That's the 13th uh, penalty against Tonga. A total of 13 uh, penalties this afternoon for um, uh, the
the Ikale Tahi Tutai Kefu will not be pleased with that, even though they are ahead by uh, 28 points to 11. And um, they'll win this match, but Tutai Kefu will not be pleased with the um, penalty count against uh, his team. A total of 13 penalties conceded this afternoon by the Tongans. TJ Iwane was good in the lineup, got it away to a Chris Vui. And the, the forwards trying to drive her forward. And Matavao has it. Oh, Iwana lost that. Uh, the referee says it's okay. Oh, that was a high shot. That was a bit dangerous from the Tongans. And a yellow card. Hey, go back. Go back. We have a look at that again. Iwana left it behind and then I regathered. And look at the shot coming through here. Oh, that was high. No uh, arms as well. It's uh, Paula. She's been sent off. How long have you got? A minute and a half. Yeah, a minute and a half. And perhaps a, a consolation try here for Samoa. They're very close to the line. They throw it long. Good work there from Ofisa Trevoranis. Good carry from uh, the former Manu Samoa captain. It's cleared away quickly. The defense coming through. Perez, he stopped. No. Samoa still have it to CPC. TJ Iowane gets it away. Good work here, Elia. Elia, and he just drops it. Oh, so unfortunate for the Samoans. Well, the set piece is not um, uh, very well executed by uh, Samoa this afternoon. A total of nine knock-ons for them in this match. So uh, it speaks volume as well of uh, the Tongan defensive um, uh, setup. Their defensive line, they're very, very up quickly in uh, defense. Forcing the errors as well. A total of nine knock-ons for um, uh, Samoa this afternoon. So that sums up their um, uh, afternoon as well against uh, their neighbors Tonga but Tonga it's the penalty count it's gonna be a worry for Totai Kefu heading into uh, next week's match at Churchill Park in Lotoka against the Fiji Airways flying Fijians no penalty against the, the Tongans as Matavao takes it quickly he's uh, dragged down but the forwards arrive Fasalele, Fisa Trevorinas, Matavao is there, taps and takes it quickly, almost there, Samoa, they look threatening, Matavao, short one, good defense from the Tongans, Matavao again, that was quick hands, and Elia, Elia gets in, finally, oh, he knocked it. <laughs> oh dear! Uh, I thought Elia was in. Wait, no, stop, stop. Number six. But well done by the Number Samoans again. The Tonga have conceded 15 penalties. Wait. How did they miss that one, Nakula? <laughs> Elia was in for all money. No pressure at all on the outside for him. She just uh, simply put it down, yeah. but he lost it. He's <laughs> disappointed with himself there as well, Elia. Let's go, Red. What was on the last one? Not back 10 meters on that one. Oh, you guys lost your balance. Lost your balance and came forward. Oh, wow, so unfortunate oh, for someone. It came forward. so close. And again. Oh, lost that ball on the try line, Elia Elia. Crouch! Bind! 
So one last chance here for the uh, Samoans as uh, Matavao keeps it off as uh, Trevorainas gets it away to Matavao! Gets over that line! Such a strong customer, this um, halfback for Samoa. Yeah, that's, that's and that finally one. gets that try for Samoa. He's absolutely pleased. And uh, you can see as well uh, the, the Matavao. So the two tries scored by uh, Samoa Asnati. Again, scored by uh, their players who um, have come off uh, the bench. And uh, that's Ed Fido and um, Melani Matavao. So uh, Samoa, the impact players, surely mm, having or making an impact in uh, this match as well against uh, Tonga. But uh, it's uh, all a little too late as well for Samoa as uh, Tonga have wrapped up this game with a win. Oh, absolutely. Well, Tonga, of course, will be very pleased. The first time they defeated um, Samoa was last year. And um, they will be pleased to have won the match again this afternoon. And so... Samoa had the final say in that match with a try to Milani Matavao. And so 28 points to 18 is the full-time score here. After Tonga scored uh, three tries. And it was a great effort uh, from Tonga with tries to Biliami Lolo here, as well as uh, Kupa Vuna. And uh, Penny Kolo Latu. And Takulu, of course, with the uh, two conversions and uh, three penalties to give uh, Tonga 28 points. It was um, a late flourish uh, for Samoa in the second half with tries to uh, Ed Fido and Melani Matavao. But again, a little too late for Samoa. 28 points to 18 in the end. And we'll now just um, cross over and join uh, Irfan Khan, who's with the Manu Samoa co uh, captain, rather, Chris Vui. Thank you, Asinate. Chris Vui, what's uh, your assessment uh, from uh, this year's PNC after two straight losses? Yeah, I guess it's, it's pretty tough. Uh, I'll get in the outcome that we, we know, wanted, the, the, the wins. But, um, you know, I think what we could take out of this is the huge positives that you know that we can play rugby but it's just those silly errors again that just you know that cost us you know uh, you know those last minute you know opportunities on the edges or the boards in the ruck you know knock on and stuff like that so um, I think we can take a huge learning from the PNC comp. Uh, in two weeks a big one and that's the rugby world cup qualifier for the uh, 2019 uh, in Japan how you think Samoa will uh, pick up? Uh, yeah no we'll, we'll definitely pick up uh, you know these two games were you know, to solely to, you know, get these two wins against uh, uh, Fiji and Tonga, you know, and get those positives going into the to the World Cup. But, you know, I think I think there is positives going into them to, to those uh, World Cup um, qualifiers, and um, there is huge belief um, in the team. And I think we can, you know, it's going to be a challenge, but we're going to do it. Thank you very much, and wish you all the best for the World Cup qualifier. Yeah, um, just want to say thank all the Samoan supporters out there. Um, you know, it's hard, you know, not getting those Ws uh, um, out in here in uh, Fiji, but. Um, please, we need your support. Um, it means a lot to us. So, thank you. Bye -bye. Always good to uh, see the uh, brotherhood uh, with a lot of these players. And, of course, uh, Samoa know they have a lot of work to do going ahead to the World Cup qualifiers, of course. Um, we'll just cross over now and join um, Irfan Khan, who is with the uh, Tongan captain, uh, Siale Piotau. Siale, congratulations for the win. How tough was this uh, match uh, for uh, Tonga? Oh, we always knew it was going to be a tough match. These uh, Pacific encounters, you know, it's always physical up front. And uh, I guess you saw there how physical it was with some big hits. Obviously, uh, discipline-wise, I think uh, for my team, we probably let ourselves down near the end. But, uh, you know, we're happy with the win. It's a lot, lot of improvements from last week, and uh, we can only get better from this. 
big one next week, and that's the flying pigeons at Churchill Park in Lautoka. So what will be uh, you hoping to take out uh, from uh, that game, and what sort of uh, improvements are you looking into the next few days? I think for us the next few days is uh, we're obviously going over what we can uh, improve for. There's a lot of improvements uh, that we can make. You know, we made a lot of errors still uh, comparing this game to last week. So uh, we're, we're heading in the right direction. And I think for us, you know, we know how good the flying Fijians are. And uh, there's no doubt it's going to be another physical encounter. Thank you very much. Set, man. Uh, good to hear there from Siale Piotr, who, of course, said uh, with the Tonga team, will take on the Flying Fijians uh, next week in the West. But uh, Tonga, of course, will take a lot out of this win, uh, having defeated uh, Samoa here, 28 points to 18.